House Oversight Committee Chair, Congressman James Comer, joins me now. Congressman, you're demanding that White House physician Kevin O'Connor testify before Congress. What involvement does Connor have with the Biden family business? Well, first of all, we're asking him to testify because uh, we question uh, what he based his letter to America that's still on the White House website stating that, the, that President Biden was in perfect health. He was in perfect mental and physical health. I don't think anyone in America would agree with that. We wonder why he hasn't given him a cognitive test. One of the answers may be the reason that we want to bring him in. He has been mentioned uh, as an advisor to Jim Biden in one of the Biden family influence peddling schemes, specifically the AmeriCorps Health Scheme, which is a, a now failed healthcare company uh, that uh, was overbilling Medicare. There was lots of uh, legal issues with this AmeriCorps Health. Jim Biden came in with no medical background, no health care background whatsoever, uh, and, and offered uh, through Joe Biden's contacts uh, additional capital to keep this company afloat. And when we brought Jim Biden in for a transcribed interview, we asked him, how did you get connected with this company? You don't have any medical background. He said, well, he worked with Dr. O'Connor. He worked very closely with Dr. O'Connor. He was a, an integral figure uh, in this uh, deal, he called it, but it was a bad deal, uh, and it's something that's now in court. There are lots of lawsuits filed. Uh, we believe Jim Biden has a lot of liability here, but at any point, uh, we wonder whether or not Dr. O'Connor's uh, misstatement about Joe Biden's health had anything to do with the fact that he has liability in the Biden influence peddling schemes. Congressman, on this program yesterday, uh, Congressman Chip Roy said he's going to bring up the 25th Amendment to remove the president from office. Watch this, please. Well, we know that. You know that. Everybody watching this knows that. You now have Democrats who are stepping up saying we need to have a president by committee. The former Secretary of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson, members of Congress, members of his administration are saying, hey, we need to be deciding this. That's what you have yeah. right now. That's unconstitutional. We should say it. OK, now look at this headline from the Wall Street Journal editorial board, no less. They say the 25th Amendment isn't for Joe Biden and invoking it would lead to, quote, chaotic, a, quote, chaotic power struggle. All right, Congressman, what do you say to that? You support going forward with a 25th Amendment? Well, I think that's going to have to be determined by his cabinet more so than Congress. But I certainly agree with Chip Roy. I usually do. Uh, he's a very sharp guy. And I think everyone in America realizes that this president isn't up for the job. He sure isn't up for an additional four years. So we're all concerned about, number one, uh, who's actually calling the shots in the White House. And number two, uh, you know, ha is he going to be able to finish his, his term? Now, sure. what we've heard in, in uh, reporting by the New York Times is Hunter Biden is the gatekeeper now. I'm not even going to get into, I don't have time on your show to get into the conflicts of interest and the national security risk by having Hunter Biden in the White House at all, much less being the gatekeeper for the President of the United States. You simply have to come up with a mechanism to get the President <laughs> out of office if yeah. that's what you really want to do. Congressman Comer, thanks for joining us this morning. Much obliged to you, sir. Thank you.